In the contract register, you have an overview of all the contracts in a project. A contract is also a part of the organization structure, meaning that the contract has its own organization unit. So here we can first see the ID of the contract, which is automatically generated when creating a new contract. The contract name, title and contractor. If the contract hasn't been awarded any contract yet, the field for contractor will remain empty. Further on, we can see what type of contract it is. You can configure different contract types and forms, uh, which belongs to the different types. Uh, which org unit the contract belongs to, planned awarded, planned end, when the contract was uh, actually awarded and ended, and amounts for committed, claimed, unsettled, booked, and forecast. So if we go into one of the contracts, for example engineering contract, we can see that we have a lot of columns available with information related to the contract. In uh, settings, we have a general setup for the contract, where you can add a contract type, uh, planned and actual dates for uh, contract awarded and contract end, etc. You have an overview of all positions linked to a contract. Uh, here you also have the possibility to register uh, new positions. In org unit roles, you have access and roles given in an org unit level. And here you can also create new access requests. Under elements, you can find both the original contract and all changes related to the contract, such as um, variation orders and variation order requests. Under authorizations, you can add who has the authority to approve contracts and, uh, and contract changes, and to which amount they can approve. We have an overview of the, all the bill of quantities, uh, which you can link to the contract. Here you have the possibility to upload uh, the contract information and the actual bill of quantities. Under transactions, uh, you get an overview of all booked transactions, uh, typically imported from the accounting system. You have an overview of all incidents related to a contract, where you can also register new incidents. You have an overview of all the interfaces that the contract is responsible for, and you can register new ones. You have an overview of all documents that the contractor are responsible for. Here you can create new documents, import document plans, publish documents, etc. You have all the objects uh, connected to a contract, all the workflows related to a contract, all workflow processes available for this uh, contract, uh, meaning that they have been published and made available for this org unit. You have the correspondence between client and contractor. You have all milestones connected to the contract, where you also can separate between the different milestone types, for example, payment milestone. You have an overview of all the daily logs of the contract, all the activities linked to a contract. And here you get an overview of the cost plan per webs for the contract. You can upload the cost plan for the contract and you can time phase directly here for example, based on the standard profiles. You have an overview of all the meetings linked to contracts, and you have the possibility to upload files directly to the contract. When registering new contracts, it can be done from the contract register. The contract will then be a part of the organization structure, where it is required to add the parent organization. In other words, this is the organization unit that the contract delivers to. Further on, you add the relevant information to the contract. 